Hello, I'm Dr. Grant Gibson, and tonight I want to talk to you about sensory neuropathy. I'm going to focus on one type, small fiber sensory neuropathy. So as we talked about yesterday, we talked about kind of gave you a reminder of peripheral neuropathy, which is included in the peripheral nerves. So you get the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, peripheral neuropathies in the peripheral nerves. And of those, there are really two areas, the peripheral, ner uh, peripheral nerves, which is the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. In the somatic nervous system, you have the small fiber sensory nerves as one of the three types of nerves. And so what are small fiber sensory nerves? So when it comes to sensory nerves, there's two types. There's large fiber sensory nerves, which are the nerves that are closest to the spinal cord, and small fiber sensory nerves, which are the nerves that are furthest away from the sensory or from the central nervous system. Um, and these small fiber nerves can be either unmyelinated or myelinated. Myelinated means that they actually have a lining or a sheath on them, and the nerves can either be with a sheath or without a sheath. And in this case, the small fiber nerves are without a sheath. They don't have the lining on those nerves. And because of that, s some of these nerves will be slower or they won't, the signals won't be passed as quickly. Um, when it comes to small fiber neuropathy, there are multiple types of symptoms that you have. You got the burning, stabbing, prickling, jabbing, or piercing pains. You've got uh, a feeling of a broken glass or burning sand or ice pick to the bone. You can get a tight band. So if you feel like your foot's being wrapped with something like a tight band around the foot, uh, pins and needles, tingling or numbness, and loss of temperature sensation or temperature temperature perception. Um, those are the most common symptoms of a small fiber sensory neuropathy. And with small fiber sensory neuropathy, you're going to have multiple types of how it presents. It could be uh, a complete loss of signal because you can actually get cell death. You can get small fiber cell death where you actually, when they do an evaluation of the number of nerves in an area, you can actually have nerves gone. They don't just degenerate, but they're completely gone. The advantage of small fiber sensory neuropathy is you can actually regrow small fiber sensory nerves through some of the treatments that are available. So, so small fiber sensory neuropathy, the unmyelinated nerves, and some of the myelinated nerves are that are furthest away from the central nervous system and that take signals from the area and take the sensation back, basically back towards the spine, back towards the central nervous system. This is Dr. Grant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 220. Tomorrow, I'm going to teach you how to diagnose small fiber sensory neuropathy. So you can actually determine what is the cause of uh, not not the cause. How do you know if you have small fiber sensory neuropathy? Because you can do it by yourself. I think it's probably so, small fiber sensory neuropathy because of the symptoms I'm having. But there are ways that you can actually say for sure that this is small fiber sensory neuropathy. This is Dr. Brant Gibson. Have a great night.